Smile, babe. Sheet rocking is a uh, tough business. I will never take my sheet rock for granted. Yeah. Hey everyone, Buddy here from the Denman Homestead. I don't know if you can tell, but that bathroom is kind of uh, enclosed. Let's see what's going on behind the wall. Hi. Hi. You need a new battery? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh man. So this is what we got. Don't zoom in on anything. <laughs> don't. We're not zooming in on anything. This is just a quick. A quick overview of our progress sheet rocking. Listen here, our first time sheet rocking and we're still yeah. married. Yeah. So I think that that's a good sign. I have lots of experience sheet rock patching. Mm -hmm. Very little experience hanging sheet rock unless I was just helping someone do it. Right. We got our Hole cut out for the shower, hole cut out for the toilet. What other holes did we cut out? Oh, I'm not going to show you the one for the fan. <laughs> I'll come over to this angle, but we have a hole cut out for the f exhaust fan as well. It's not pretty, but there's a there's a You'll grill that see. there's a grill that will cover it. You'll never see. This is the uh, the reason why the it's this color is because this is the mold resistant. So we went ahead and did the entire bathroom and mold resistant. Anywhere you have like high moisture, like laundry rooms, yeah, bathrooms, stuff with lots of steam. You're supposed to use this stuff. So that is what we've been using. Yep. So we. Oh my God! You didn't tell me. I look like that. Yeah, hey, I look the exact same way. I literally wow. look the exact same way. Um, I mean, you always look pretty, baby. Okay, so uh, we underestimated the amount, the amount of sheet rock we needed because if I turn around, you'll see that this wall and the last of that wall is not complete and we are out of sheet rock minus some bits and pieces. Yeah, we have one big, pretty big chunk that we cut out a square for above the shower, but the way the bottom lines up with these 10 foot walls and eight foot nine foot walls and eight foot uh sheets is we have to always cut a little patch off of the bottom but yeah. so we're taking a trip back to the hardware store that's what we do that's what we do it's like our favorite pastime. we just hang out at the hardware store mm -hmm. we ended up having to cancel our delivery this was supposed to be delivered because we didn't want to risk breaking it in transport i have a bone to pick yeah but the people that were transporting it broke it so then they got delayed and then it got delayed again and we just said screw it so we were we were just gonna go get it ourselves i don't know but if the ceo of home depot is watching this <laughs> i'm telling you like we we had to have three shower orders yeah because the boxes that we received looked like they had been hit by a train yeah i'm sorry my arms are super tired i'm gonna change, oh, change. Poor thing. we've been holding are holding sheetrock <laughs> above our heads for a long period of time. We need to get that tripod out. Yeah, it's hard to hold yeah. the camera up. Anyway, um, all that to say is like... Lots of broken things. Lots when of broken they things. say inspect your stuff during shipping or expect, inspect it after shipping or before you leave the store, I'm not kidding because there's so much broken stuff. And yeah, the sheetrock that was being brought here to be delivered we were ready at eight o'clock in the morning for them to show up and then they never showed up. And then we called and the lady said, oh, you're next on the list. And then, and then they never came at all. So yeah. they apparently broke it and then didn't have any more to, to bring us. So we just had to go to the store and get it ourselves, but. Which is okay. Yeah. All right, so another trip to Lowe's or Home Depot. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, 
We can wrap this up. Maybe when you see us again, we'll be finishing. With the bathroom. With the bathroom. I think we might have to hire someone for the rest. The rest is going to be easier, though. You think so? I think so. This was hard. Way less plumbing to cut out, that's for sure. Yeah. Cut she rock, she rock is hard. It's no joke. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of the hardest things that we've done so far. Yeah, especially sealing sheetrock, just like, because you have yeah. to hold it above your head. We don't have stilts or anything fancy, but yeah, that was a pain. Yeah, I ended up holding it up with my head sometimes. Yeah, oh yeah, that's what you do. Because you know, my arms were just like, ah. Wiggle it into place with your arms, and you hold it in place with your head, and you're doing this the entire time. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go home, people. Okay. Dear diary. <clears throat> day three of vacation. It's day 785 of the barn remodel. Send help. <laughs> we now live at Home Depot. This is our second home. Instead of rent, we just pay a lot of money. Yeah. In sheetrock and lumber. Wire and mud. No, I'm just kidding. We're leaving. The Home Depot. Brum, 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 brum. How does the Home Depot song go? Well, that was the Fanta. Song. <laughs> Fanta, Fanta. Uh, dun, 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 dun. It's uh, like. Ding. I don't know. We're delirious. More, more, more doing. More doing, less talking or something less. like that. Less. We're doing less talking? What is it? What is it? No. We're doing more less. doing. Less talking. I don't think. I don't know. What is it? The right stuff, the right price. <laughs> no. Um, Where, have, it's, no. Have it your way. Where where doers get it done, or something like that, right? We're not spokesperson people for Home Depot. At the Home Depot, the right stuff, the right price. No. The right stuff, the right price. Academy. Oh, Academy. Oh, gosh. Academy, it's the yeah. jingle. All right. Well, jingle or no jingle, we're going home with two more sheets of drywall, mm -hmm. some mud, and a nifty corner mud spatula thing that I found. And tape. And some more. Oh, and some tape. Yeah. Some drywall tape. Ready to get to work? Oh, I'm tired. I'm ready for a bath, honestly. I'm ready for a hot bath. So. Okay. We did it. Huh? We did it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Alright. We did it. We are. She rocked in. Whoa, what did I just, oh, whoops. Stepped on the toilet cover. <laughs> uh, we did have some damage to the floor underneath, unfortunately. But we'll, we can replace it, because we're still in the process of it. Um, this light switch cut out, it was like perfect, just on point. Don't, don't, don't. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you. Don't. This one, I told Steph, we're gonna need the extra wide outlet covers. <laughs> that one was a little rough. Uh, that came out perfect. A lot of the cutouts that we did really worked like really well. That one was just, we had to mess up one of them. Yeah. It had to be that one. Yeah. Okay, well, it's been a long day. <clears throat> oh, the fan was going. Yeah, I bet it's loud. It was probably really loud, I'm sorry. It's been a long day. Uh, we're going to crack open a cold one. I can't believe it took us all day to do this. All day. Well. All day. After getting back from Home Depot and buying it all. But yeah. yeah. At least at least nine hours. Yeah. We're slow. 
<laughs> we are slow. We are not good. <laughs> we're this not, is great. We're not good sheet This rockers. is professional. Okay, and that's why they that's why they made tape and mud so that you can make all these sheetrock mistakes. That's not why they made it. <laughs> that's what mom always said. Mom always said, "Don't worry about the sheetrock. That's what tape and mud's for." Oh. <laughs> I think we should just get an extra large vanity, cover up some of the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to crack open a cold one and just relax for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put chairs in here. Yeah. We'll just sit inside here in the sheetrock. Yeah. Become one with it. It is pretty cool to see. Yeah. It's to see like the, the dimensions of the room. And really, actually, like like yeah. be in an actual room. Yeah. And it's actually kind of a big bathroom. Yeah, now that the walls are up, I am a little bit, because I was scared. I know, but I thought we designed it to be small, but it's big. Well, we, it is a small bathroom. Well, yeah. It's, it's like a small. seven by seven. Which feels small, but then you think about like some half baths or guest bathrooms that are really small. Yeah, it's a three piece bath with a shower and it, it does still feel spacious. I don't know how spacious it's going to feel with a toilet and a sink in here, but right now it feels good. Yeah. Okay. Well, we will catch you on the next one, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.